I'm not having any sex with my partner. Like, why is, what's the reason for that? My approach to it is to teach guys how to be. There's an, any other reasons why so many people are in these sexless re relationships? Because I mean, I know we're talking about, you know, guys don't talk about sex, but the few times I have is when my, my friends come to me and like, I'm not having any sex with my partner. Like, why is, what's the reason for that? Oof. It, there's a, a bunch of reasons that could be. So it could be it could be a sex drive thing on his on his part. Doesn't sound like it from if he's coming to you and he's like she's not, you know, yeah. keen. I mean, sometimes it's even like, oh yeah, we just don't do that anymore. You know, they they don't even think about it. Okay, well that means the pa like the passion's gone from both of them, right? Mm -hmm. And this can start. There's two ways this can come about. One, it could be the the guy is really just taking it for granted because a guy has to work. Like being a man is about working in all aspects like you can't it's it, it kind of sucks but that's the reality of the world you live in like you, you can choose to live in reality or not but being a man is about like constantly trying to work and tr constantly trying to improve every aspect of your life right and putting effort into every aspect of your life otherwise it's gonna fall by the wayside right and a relationship is just the same and the sex the sexual chemistry in the relationship is just the same so if he's not inspiring that passion in his woman well, that's the start. He's starting to take it for granted, starting to be, maybe he's just falling into habits and routine. And habits and routine, like a, a habitual sex life is the most unattractive, uninspiring thing. It becomes complacent. It becomes boring for the woman. Like even something as really, really as simple as just passionately taking your woman in the kitchen when she's like cooking or something. She just... Obviously, consensually. I hate that I have to say that on like the internet because it, to me it's like obvious. Yeah. But we have to say that. Like, but just taking her like on a whim, randomly, passionately—that's kind of spontaneity—is what can re-inject that passion back into the sex life of, of an otherwise dull relationship. And but the guy has to be the one to kind of take the initiative there to inspire that back out of his woman again what about if someone um, has kids you know and they can't just do that spontaneous sex yeah but you know, it's a lot yeah, tougher and uh, people have said before that you need to schedule in your sex you know on thursday that sex day or whatever but it sounds like that's the opposite of what you should oh, i was do. gonna say because it's interesting we just had a top celebrity psychologist mm. on marissa peer and she was saying that most people's sex drive dying is down to the predictability Big she up. says that she has clients mm. where the man will walk in on a Saturday before they go shopping and he has no pants on and his t-shirt on or some, something ridiculous like that. And every time he's, he does that, pocket. yeah, every time he does that, the woman knows that he wants sex and he's like, oh God, you know, I've got to do this again. Like there's no excitement. It's just that same old Play shit. the same tape again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, Cause that, that to, in her like, perspective that that is kind of like um, obligatory. Yeah. Mm. The sex isn't inspired. It's like, a chore yeah when he when it's scheduled like that and it, it's not only boring but it's also like becomes obligatory and, and it takes away all the passion and all the fun of it all and that's why i mean yeah it's harder to do if you're if you've got kids around the house and stuff but you can still pull it off and i i think that scheduling a date night is although it's good intentioned mm -hmm. it has the wrong effect because it takes away the, the mystery, takes away the excitement makes it predictable like he should be scheduling some shit in the background without letting it know like, okay, like, look, just schedule Friday night off, baby, or schedule Thursday night off. And he's going to he's gonna do something spontaneous. She doesn't know. Take her on a, on a mini adventure. It doesn't matter what it is. But the, just the fact that it's mysterious and she doesn't, it's unpredictable is good enough. It doesn't have to be outlandish and crazy. It's just women need that, that little bit of mystery here and there to keep the passion around. Is this a conversation that couples should have, though? Should the man or the woman, you know, say to their partner, I'm not enjoying sex, we're not having enough sex, or does that conversation in itself almost kill the mood by putting the elephant in the room? Should you just, you know, work behind the scenes to make sure that it's improving yourself? I think you both would know that it's not, you're both fully aware that you're not having good sex. You're both fully aware you're not having enough sex. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it is the elephant in the room. You already know it. Yeah. And I think, okay, well, it's the man's job to do something about it because in my opinion, the man is the leader of the relationship. He's the leader of the household. So okay, well, do you do you are you going to defer that problem onto her? And it's going to make it worse, you know. So I, that's my approach to it is to teach guys how to be more of a passionate, more of a dominant lover with their woman, so that it can inspire that out of her again. Because you think about, I remember like this is a weird thing to, to talk about, but I remember my mother used to read all these Mills and Boone novels. 
Yeah, my, you know, my mum reads those. I don't yeah. know what that is. <laughs> like super, she might want me cutting that out. but <laughs> old, old school romantic yeah. novels, mm. right? And I remember picking one up one day. Because I, I used to see my mum just read these all day. And I'm like, what is this thing she's reading? This, it's mm. got Fabio on the cover or something. Some dude who looks like a pirate. And I'm like reading up. This is the, this is the most trashy, erotic thing I've mm. ever seen in my life. And it's like housewives read that stuff. Or at least they used to. I don't know what they're doing now, but they, they yeah. definitely did. I mean, did. Fifty Shades of Grey went huge, didn't it? Right. Which is a similar kind of thing. But it's because they're looking for that that, that kind of passion, that, that adventure, that mystery, mm. that unpredictability in their life. And it's you can get that from a man you've, like a, per, a partner you've been with for decades. You can still get it. It's just about trying to stop yourself from falling into that routine. Mm. And especially as a guy, that's, that's one of the hardest things is to not fall into the routine. Because we get in a rhythm, we like... We like doing this position, that position, and we have great time. Got our rocks off, game over. But if you just, you got to switch it up a bit every now and then. Throw a spanner into works every now and then. So not you, all the, maybe you don't have to do it all the time, but every now and then you mix it up just to keep it fresh. Keep yeah, keep add it a bit of spice in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you had to lay out an action plan on how to do that, what would you say? Depends what you're, you're kind of into. Asking for a friend, yeah. Yeah, asking, I'll, asking for a mate. Yeah, <laughs> gets his notebook out. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll give you I'll give you one one practical example that I personally love to do, and it's um, uh, I I'm a big fan of the remote control vibrator. So like you either have like a Wee Vibe app on your phone, or you could do you have a little controller, and you just hand it just random date like don't do it every week, don't do it every, you know throw it out every now and then randomly. All right, we're going on a, we're going on for a drinks, so we're going for for dinner, whatever. Put this in, <laughs> cool. And then when 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 a waitress comes over, we turn it on, see if she can place her order without losing concentration. We play, we just make it into this fun little game between me and her, where it's like, it's almost like a conspiracy, mm. right? It's like, we know something naughty's happening. No one else knows something naughty's happening. That makes it even more exciting. Like the aspect, the prospect of getting caught is a really, really stimulating thing for women. That's why women tend to really enjoy like public sex and things like that, where it can be a bit more risque. So I think that's a very, very safe way of introducing that random element into it and that excitement into a relationship because it's just the two of you it's private like it adds the excitement adds the mystery adds the unpredictability she's going to say something if you've never done it before she's gonna be like you're crazy which is always good is, there, so, is there a chance that she goes no mate i don't i don't <laughs> fancy that i mean there's, a, there's, always, there's obviously a chance for that but i think i think bringing up the i think bringing up the idea to i mean and doing it confidently and you know, with a pair of balls is like, yeah, I want you to put this in tonight. Presumably there's got to be a point of no return. Let's say someone's been married for 30 years and they've got kids and a lot of couples are arguably slightly repulsed by each other. They, they, re they really, they're together, but they really, there's no sexual attraction. And if, if you said to her, you know, put this up yourself, um, you know, that she'd probably just be really put off by it. Is there, is there a point where it's just like, look, we've just got to break well, this up now. There's no saving this. Well, if you're both, if you're both sexually repulsed by each other, I would suggest you both get in the gym. Right. Obviously, if you're both, I mean, this you, you can be like 50, 60, 70 and still good looking. If you, as a, of especially as a dude and a woman, if you just take care of your body. So, like, if you're getting if you're getting that long into a relationship and you find like the physical attraction is waning, well, one of you needs to hit the gym to inspire the other one to hit the gym. Because the first whoever whoever gets fit first, if you have two like overweight people, right, and whichever one gets fit first is going to start getting more attention from the opposite sex. And that is going to kick the fire up the other one's ass. Jealousy works. Jealousy really, really works. And that's, I think that's a that's another thing we should talk about is it's important, I think, for a man to not necessarily not to necessarily like cheat or step around or or like flirt or like do anything with other women, but to at least be seen as being attractive to other women in some way. To make sure his woman knows, okay, I picked a good horse. I backed a good horse here. This is this is a good. I I picked the right one. I didn't pick a bum, because like, okay, he can be a bit flirty with other women here and there. Just that little little bit of jealousy every now and then in a woman is actually a good thing because yeah, it, no, it reinforces sense. her attraction for a man. How about in the same instance, for, but for a woman? I don't think that I actually I think jealousy works against men. Right, right. Like when because when a woman is being is is like getting lots of attention from other men. If she's indulging in it, it kind of indicates a bit of disrespect towards her husband. Or her, but or but her what if she's just not, she's not having any of it, you know, she's not even talking to oh, these well, guys, but then, you can see she's that being, she's getting lots of Well, then she's being attention. very respectful. Mm. Um, and obviously she, if she's a beautiful woman, she's going to get attention. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So like, it's, that's kind of like, 
by default, a beautiful woman will get attention from a bunch of other dudes anyway. Mm. You so know? you just got to work it's whether, a little it's whether bit harder or not, like, as a man. It's whether or not she like engages mm. with it at all, will gauge like her level of respect for her man. That but uh, the guy kind of has to be a bit more proactive with it. Because mm. guy like most guys don't really get attention from women unless they proactively go out and do something about it. So you kind of have to engineer scenarios in which she can she can see that you are you you still got it. Yeah. A woman needs an emotional roller coaster. Yeah, exactly. Because you were if you were Mr. Nice, like super happy fun all the time, like it's it's just it's like it's like a roller coaster that just goes up. Yeah. It's boring. Yeah. It's it's the it's the down going into the up and the up going into the down that's the fun part of roller coaster, right? So women need the up as much as they need the down. But but they don't always think they do, of course. They might think this is a horrible thing, but unconsciously it's there's a, there's an excitement there of like why is this happening to me? You know. Well, why? Why does? Why does? Why do women tend to? Women will. Uh, um, as a bit of a trope, women will say all oh, men are cheaters. Well, no, no, honey, you keep dating guys yeah. who cheat for a reason, because you're attracted to it. Like, you might not consciously be aware of why, but you keep picking the same kind of guys again and again and again, which tells me a lot about you, about you and what you're attracted to. Right? It tells me that you need that, that really kind of intense down of like oh god he, he slept with another chick in order to kind of try and maintain something with a guy it's if it's a pattern it's a pattern you know look at like the what's the common denominator here if you'll be if you're with like the chicks with about three or four different boyfriends and they all cheat on her what's the common denominator the common denominator is you pick guys who cheat or who are very likely to cheat it's kind of sad in a way though isn't it that you have to understand that and almost not cheat but you have to there's a game a you game, have to yeah. play or is there is it just a case of finding a woman who's secure enough in herself that doesn't need that perhaps well I, that would be the ideal scenario yeah yeah it's I, I don't like playing games i'd much rather not play i'd much rather work Same. Than, yeah than worry about playing games and and you know i like i like a peaceful woman who doesn't give me any drama so you can select for that from the from the start and that that will save you a little headache <laughs> So if, if you're running your own business or you've got a nine to five job and you just don't have any time to keep it interesting, how can you keep it interesting? Do you need to go out on your own with your mates and, and get that attention from other girls? And how's that possible? I think if you're super, super busy with work mm. and un unless you're like stuck in the same house with her all the time and so she's just, a, mm. you're both around each other all the time, that's not an ideal. Then you need to manufacture time apart because like comfort, like uh, sorry, absence makes the heart grow fonder. It's it's that it just ties into the idea of like you know being habitual and being like routine, like when okay for for example I got a friend who his his woman is absolutely head over heels in love with him, and he's he's traveling all the time, like but when he's home he's with her hundred percent hundred percent with her like adoring loving man, but he bounces around the the country so much, but it's that it's that absence that allows her to miss him and and appreciate why she loves him in the first place. And so I think when you, if you're a busy guy, if you don't have time to like proactively inject these kind this this kind of excitement back into the relationship, just absence mm. due to work can do a lot of the legwork for you.